Tomo News presents Dumb Thieves. Jonathan Dugan and Matthew Murphy are proof of the old saw that only stupid criminals get caught. Dugan and Murphy, both from Manchester, have been jailed for over nine years each after they admitted to conspiring to steal across North Manchester, Bury, and Salford. The thefts happened between November 2012 and June 2013. The duo normally broke into houses, took car keys, and stole valuables. They then posted pictures of themselves with stolen vehicles and their glamorous lifestyle on Facebook. Among the victims were a couple who were both being treated for cancer. Dugan and Murphy took their Honda Accord, which was found smashed into a tree in Openshaw in Manchester after a 70 mile per hour police chase. The pair were finally caught after Greater Manchester Police found evidence of their heists on Facebook. A third thief, Daniel Breeze, is due to be sentenced next month after he admitted to conspiracy to steal. Manchester Crown Court heard how they had blighted the lives of householders after they were linked to 14 thefts and robberies. Kent's Meats and Groceries in the northern Californian city of Reading, the site of one of the area's rarest specimens, the fatty prowler. Native to various regions of America, this particular prowler has one thing on his mind, pastrami. Donning black and white hammer pants of earlier times, the prowler carefully inspects its target. Ah, the coast is clear. He draws over his delicate face a pair of women's pantyhose. Researchers are unsure why he does this after showing his face to the camera, but he does. He walks away to screw up the courage to attack, and then, with the reflexes of a jungle cat, he launches a rock at the glass barrier. Total fail! Unable to penetrate the door and stunned by the security alarm he trips, the fatty prowler flees. Upon a review of the footage made available by the establishment, we can examine his flop more closely. Despite considerable girth, the prowler cannot leverage enough power against the glass. Sensitive to the shrill bleating of the siren, he withdraws instantly. Uncertain in his footing, he tumbles. And then again. Sightings of the creature have gone unreported for nearly a year already, though the local police force remains ever vigilant. Will we ever have the chance to see the fatty prowler strike again? Or has he simply vanished from this earth? Genius Thief Steals Fake Gold Bars from Museum a masked man broke into Japan's Yunuku Museum of Gold Mining and stole the museum's fake display bars of gold. Many gold mines were operated in that area of Japan during the 15th and 17th centuries. The masked burglars seemed to have caught the area's famous gold fever and snuck into the museum to steal the gold in the display case. Unfortunately, the gold on display was fake, and the same fake gold bars can be purchased in the museum gift shop for 32 US dollars apiece. Well, he's in for a surprise when he realizes he's stolen some very shiny paperweights. MaxiPad Bandit busted for stealing battery chargers. Earlier this week, a man robbed an auto parts store in Apple Valley, California. And out of all disguises he could have picked, he went with the strategically placed MaxiPad over his eyes. Surveillance footage from the Battery Mart shows the Maxi Man roll out of his white Dodge Dynasty, break into the store, and then start helping himself to battery chargers and flashlights. Police identified the man as 51-year-old Gary Victor, and according to reports, believe he was under the influence of... <clears throat> something. Apparently, Victor was seen casing the joint with no menstrual pad, making it all too easy for the police to put two and two together. While this probably isn't the most carefully planned heist, you can't help but wonder how he manages to see around him with a giant white pad over his eyes. Thirsty Thief Breaks In Steals Beer From South Carolina Gas Station In small town America, it can be difficult to find places open after midnight. So this thirsty thief decided to take matters into his own hands. According to Bluffton, South Carolina police, shortly after 1 a.m., a man wearing a red shirt, blue jeans, gloves, and a black rag over his face made a hole in the brick wall in the back of the Enmark gas station. The thief ignored the cash register and instead swiped a 12-pack of beer. 
He then left the same way he came in, police said. These photos taken from the gas station surveillance camera show the suspect caught in the act. Police are still searching for their thirsty thief. Criminal incriminates himself with a selfie photo on Facebook. This dopey would-be thief posts everything on his Facebook, even his crimes. Mr. Guo, age 29, was upset that his boss still owed him 200 U.S. in back salary. So he decided to steal tools and equipment from his boss's company late one evening. He loaded everything in a minivan, then took a selfie to document the heist. Later, his boss spotted the photo on Mr. Guo's Facebook and also noticed inappropriate photos of one of his female employees, which had clearly been taken without her knowledge. His boss was furious and reported Mr. Guo to the police. He didn't have to. Mr. Guo had already taken the stolen equipment to the police station and turned himself in, telling the officer on duty that it was just a joke he was playing on his boss. The police held him for questioning. After they had conducted an interview and were compiling the written report, one officer caught Mr. Guo attempting to upload a photo of the report to Facebook. This guy sure got a serious case of cell phone addiction, that's for sure. Albuquerque thief takes huge stash of jewelry, leaves behind his DNA and is caught. When it comes to stupid thieves, this guy, Ramon Herrera of Albuquerque, takes the biscuit. Herrera broke into a home in Toanan, Albuquerque last month while the owners were on vacation. And kudos to Herrera, he did manage to find out where the homeowners stashed their jewelry and took bling worth around a quarter of a million dollars. But that was as good as it got for poor Ramon, as he then decided to take the Browns to the Super Bowl before forgetting to flush. And as we all know, robbery can be thirsty work. So he grabbed a Coke from the fridge and drank it. But at least he left an apology note. And as if leaving multiple samples of his DNA behind wasn't bad enough, Herrera also left a flashlight with his fingerprints on, several footprints in a nearby field, and one of his sweaters. Surprisingly, it didn't take the cops long to gather enough evidence to bust Herrera, and thankfully they didn't even need to visit the bathroom. DNA collected from the coke can led police to the 33-year-old suspect, who they found had been selling jewelry to local pawn shops. Herrera was charged with burglary and larceny, and is now taking his dumps at the county jail. Brazilian robbers wrap themselves in tinfoil to avoid alarm system. Remember that awesome Rio de Janeiro heist and chase sequence from Fast Five? Well, this attempted robbery is absolutely nothing like that. Rather than going all Ethan Hunt and pulling Mission Impossible Cirque du Soleil, these two Brazilian bank robbers this weekend wrap themselves in tinfoil in a bid to avoid alarm sensors. Surprisingly, the kooky plan worked, but the spacey duo were still picked up on CCTV. And seeing this, security at Banco do Brasil in Prada Grande called the cops. However, the would-be tinfoil burglars escaped in a white sports car and are reportedly still on the run. Although the cops did make an arrest and are questioning a third suspect believed to be the duo's lookout who was hiding in the bushes nearby. So it looks like this case can't be wrapped up uh, just yet. Bungling Burglar A man has been dubbed the Bungling Burglar by police in Radcliffe, England after he got stuck trying to enter a house through the window. 47-year-old Sean Crawshaw was in the process of breaking and entering when he got his head lodged in a small bathroom window 15 feet above the ground. The home 60-something-year-old owner returned later to find the unwanted guest and called police. It took firefighters 20 minutes to rescue the would-be burglar who injured his ear when they tried to pull him out of the bathroom window. Crawshaw was sentenced to two and a half years in prison at a court hearing for the December incident. Dumb thief got caught playing online game. The game Tower of Saviors is endorsed by goddess Michelle Chen. Look at her walking and playing at the same time. Is this game really that amazing? Well, apparently it is. The 27-year-old man surnamed Chen from New Taipei City broke into a house early morning Tuesday. 
He took two watches. And as he was passing by the living room, he saw the computer. Out of sheer stupidity, he turned the computer on and started playing Tower of Saviors. He was so lost in the game that he didn't even notice the owners returning and calling the police. When police arrived, he was caught red-handed. Police said the thief broke through the window screen and had injuries on his arm, but he was so into the game that he didn't even feel the pain at all. After investigation, Chen was arrested for larceny 